Welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. I'm taking that most people know that after they watched the last three videos on the Bugatti, they were pre-filmed, and they were pre-filmed because we were doing working on other things besides, and we wanted to film what we were doing on the Bugatti also. Um, but we, it is Monday. What is it, 19th? I think so. Monday the 19th. Jolene's going to check for a second. I think, I like I think it's the 19th. Um, but anyways, we have, we have painted the engine prior to this. Um, but what's going on is, I'm just going to wait for Jolene, see what day it is. What day is it, Jolene McQueen? December 19th. It's the 19th, Monday. Um, what, what is going on is, um, for the people that... Oh yes, I want to thank everybody for the 200,000 mark on the YouTube station. Fantastic. I do, I, do, I do it a little jig, but there's no music on. It's hard to get the groove when there's no music. Um, we are building a Bugatti for Jolene. Uh, the reason the Bugatti's out and the 56 Plymouth is not inside, because when we pulled the 56 Plymouth inside, it was like, wow, what am I doing? Um, there's, been, there's a big mistake here because um, the, the Bugatti has li been living in the paint room. And if I tore that Plymouth all apart, I would never have got the Bugatti even out of the, out of the paint room. Uh, the Bugatti is supposed to be done for the building. Watch yourself, sweetheart. It's supposed to be done for the building. So we have changed our process. Watch your sweetheart. You're going to back in something again. And um, we've changed the process. And we're going back to the Bugatti because, like, we're supposed to. We're supposed to be on the Bugatti. Um, the engine was painted on the last video and what is going on is we had bought a 67 Jaguar engine for this car uh, brand new and when we went to detail it this is what we wanted it to look like we wanted to get it silver it was black and different colors we wanted to detail it and then put it in the chassis but when we went to detail we were tearing it apart and we found that it was no good so with it being no good, me and Jolene had another Jaguar out back that we bought from Bernie. Uh, it was an 84. It was a fuel injected. What my brain did is said, use what you have. And that's what I did. I, we pulled the engine out of that 84. Um, and here it is. But when I pulled it out, it was fuel injected. The motor mounts were in the center of the block here. And on the side of this side, they were on the center of the block. And uh, that chassis was built for a uh, 67 4.2 Jaguar. Uh, the mounting was totally different. The alternator is totally different. The alternator was totally different. And what has happened is, is I've been, you know, this is the job that I've been given, is to make this thing into a 67 Jaguar engine. And what I've had to do is, is I've had to change the mounts I have the mounts off a 3.8. Uh, we got an engine from <laughs> a lot of Jaguar engines. I don't know why, but we got a lot of Jaguar engines. Uh, we got a Jaguar engine off of Jimbo, and it was a 3.8, but it had the motor mounts up front, just like the 67 did. So we've ended up taking the motor mounts off that engine and applying them to this engine. So now we have got the motor mounts off a six, or a, uh, 3.8 up the front like we had on the 67 so we've got the motor mount here we've got a motor mount there we had to buy new motor mounts or the the rubber part because we did not have them when it came time to put on the alternator the 84 the alternator was up here that's where the alternator was no the alternator was down here sorry the alternator was down here at the bottom where the motor mount was because the motor mount was back here this motor mount here was where the alternator was. So what I had to do is, is I put the motor mount off the 3.8 here and I've had to change the alternator bracket and put it up here. So I've made a new alternator bracket and it's right there beside the alternator. I've went and bought a one wire alternator, a shed alternator, and put it on there. On the other side, the motor mount was back here. We've changed the motor mount up front like it's supposed to be. But that is where the power steering pump was connected. Um, it did not have no motor mount. So now I had to make the brackets on top of the motor mount to hold the power steering pump that we're going for. So everything is kind of um, different, but yet I have to change it to make it the same what I built the chassis as. Uh, you can see the oil filter comes out this way. On the 67, the oil filter comes out this way. On the carburetion system, we had to take this off. It's a fuel injected system. Now we've got a carburetor system. 
Uh, and the carburetor system is also different. Now I've got to change that. So basically what I've been do doing is uh, chasing my tail to make this into something that we built the chassis for. And uh, I'm getting closer. Today we're going to put the engine in the chassis. My beautiful assistant Jolene is going to help me. She is some beautiful. Um, and the car is being built because I thought she was so beautiful. She inspired me to build her a car. She did. Um, she come my way and I wanted her to stay my way. So I said, I'm going to build you a car, baby. And this is the car that she picked. So uh, today we're going to put the engine in. So this is the issue today. Have not had the engine in the car yet. That's an 84. We had a 67. So now I have the motor mounts put in there. These are the motor mounts. This is where the transmission lied and went down through. I do not know if the transmission is exactly the same. So on this video, you're going to find out whether the transmission is exactly the same. And another thing you're going to find on this car, I do not know anything. It is telling me as I'm going along what I have to do, basically, because there's nothing that I know that, go, that is done for sure. There's nothing. Everything that I'm doing, I'm doing uh, to make it work and uh, the car is telling me what I have to do to make it work on this car everything is half inch quarter inch away fan is quarter inch or half inch away from the fan the, the back of the engine is half inch quarter inch away from the firewall the transmission is in the tunnel like it's very 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 compact um, it was a, a race car of its day of the body shape of it we are building it um, to our taste and to our, you know, ability. And Rick, today you're going to watch us put the engine back in the car so that we're taking an 84, making it into a 67. Hopefully it fits that chassis again. There's another thing, the water pump. I do not know if water pump we all know or maybe we don't. Not all water pumps are the same. I have two belts on this one, for one for the alternator and one for the power steering pump. On the 67, I only had one belt um, when the adjustment was on the power steering. On this one, uh, the alternator and the power steering pump has its own adjustment, and I do not know if the water pump is out too far for the fan to hit the radiator. So I'm going through a bunch of stuff, and uh, I'm going to take you with me. We're going to try to put this engine in. No, we're not going to try. We, yeah, we're going to try to put this engine in and set it in. Jolene's going to help me. I'm going to push it over. We're going to try to line it up. Jolene's going to grab the tail shaft of the transmission and going to try to wheel it around. And her job will be to put that in the hole on the transmission mount where we have a rubber made. And I'm going to try to line this up um, on the motor mounts to put the front of the engine in. We're going to drop it down and maybe we'll start putting some stuff on it like the water pump, uh, the power steering pump, the alternator, uh, the headers and that sort of stuff to show you where we're going. So everything on the engine I've had to fabricate or refigure. That's a lot of words, wasn't it? Yeah. But there's a, you know, there's more people watching that don't know what's going on. And uh, we want you to know what's going on. That way there you can join in on the fun. All right. Also, if you do not know, the last time that I put this engine in the car, I dropped it on the car. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I'm going to drop it on the chassis. Don't. Don't, she says. All right. We're enjoying the color silver a little bit better. Um, there's no method or no reason for any colors, like on the motor mounts or on the whatever. It's just kind of our desire. And my desire was to paint it the way it is. The silver, I'm thinking, uh, the engine in the Bugatti was a silver color or aluminum color and that's sort of what we want to mock or mimic uh, i'm going to get a little closer you're going to tell me if i'm going to hit anything jolene and it's going to be harder to put this engine in and the reason i'm going to say it's going to be harder to put this engine in is because um it's not the right way on the, the engine picker I'm going to hit anything not yet you just scream if i'm going to hit anything okay yeah don't scream too loud, but scream. I'm gonna hit the rack and pinion there. For some reason, that scared me. That sound. I said, what the hell is that? 
just gonna get this front end over here a little bit. I'm not, <sighs> should come up a bit higher. I'm gonna go get another piece of wood and pick it up just a little bit higher. I think I'm gonna hit the rack a little bit. I don't wanna hit the rack. So I'm gonna go get another piece of wood and pick the front end up. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna pull that out for a second. I've got no air to the front end yet. And uh, the reason I have no air to the front end yet because I haven't got the Schrader valves to do that. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of wood. Right great back, sweetheart. coming down in Nova Scotia right at the present moment. Just gonna wipe this off. Thank you very much for all the great comments and everybody. Everybody's been really fantastic lately. Appreciate it and I appreciate all the people. Do you want to put that down and help me for a minute? I can slide it in right. All right so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna do the, the strong man lift. <laughs> lift the front end of this car and she's gonna shove that piece of wood in. I still got a back. Alrighty. I'm gonna shove this back in. Hopefully we're not. You tell me if I'm too, if I'm hitting things we hurt? Yep. Can we look good? Yep. You look good. <laughs> you look fantastic. Alrighty. I'm not big on these engine pickers, but you have to have them to do the job that you need to do. What I'm going to get Jolene to do is, is come back here. You're going to hold that. Okay. Like so. Looks better that way. <laughs> so you're going to want to, you're going to have to jump over that after I get it in a little bit further. We have got nothing tight. I've got the motor mounts tight on the block, but I have not got the rubbers tight. And nothing's hitting good. So this is the first time that this engine has been in the car. We're up against the rack, the rubbers of the rack real close. I'm gonna let this bad boy down, my, my, my. <laughs> now, I'm gonna let you know something. We're not gonna hit on the chassis, hopefully. Just let be known, if anything happens, jump out of the way, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, Quiet because I'm concentrating. Which way I gotta turn this thing? If I got a shit eating grin on my face because I'm concentrating. How's it looking back there for you? It's looking good. It might have to come closer into me, but I might be able to pull it. Oh, it's farting. That's not me. Looking pretty good. Well, not to me, it's not. It isn't? Nope. Too far? Nope. Looks good. It's close. Is it? It is. Um, Okay, hang on here. Can you go down the hole? Let me see. Oh, you need to go. Good. Looks good. Okay. Looks so good. should I hold that now now? Um, let's. Okay. Looks good. Yep. Awesome. Yay! I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna do the trick. So, are you in the hole? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I can be. Now, I don't want to, this is what I want. I don't want to. I'm going to let it down. I don't want to scratch the mouth. Is what I don't want it to do. You got your. You're not. You're not on your. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, that's better. I'm going to let it down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You get that in the hole. 
and then you're going to come up front and help me. Okay. Just a second. got to do something here. Loosen that off. Okay. Let's get that. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that, let that down in the hole, and then you can come up front. I'll turn that. I don't even know what size that is, but see what it is. That way there, I don't have to, I don't want to scratch anything. And that's the deal when you're building something. Nobody wants to scratch anything. That's not it. I grabbed two one inch and they're both in the different places. <laughs> There's one on the welder, one in the eighth. Come on. All right. That way there, we once we let it get that down in there, then you can come up and help me with the front. Okay. Like, is that coming down or up? It's coming down, isn't it? Actually. It's coming up and down. Yeah. Up in it. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Going down the hole now? Yep. Okay. Okay. Is it down the hole? Yep. It's all the way. Not coming. It's all, all the way? Yep. Okay, good. Awesome. Come up front. Now. We got four bolts right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop, you gotta just drop the bolt down through the hole. Don't worry about the washers and the, and the stuff because we're just gonna put the bolt down through for now. So when we get that close in there, you're gonna drop one in each hole. Okay. And you're just gonna take care of one side. Back in action again, eh? Back in action again. So that was my big dilemma that we just hurdled. So you don't want the washer? No, I just no, I don't want the washer. I just want the bolt. Okay. So, um, come on the other side, please. That's fine. Yeah, please. This one's closer. It seems to be closer. What I want to happen is, is I want that can move, but I want. Okay. Yeah, I want you to move the engine. Can I put these down? You can. It's already on the floor if you want. Be careful. This, this side seems to be a little bit closer. I'm just going to let it down slowly. Don't get your fingers underneath, please. Because yeah. I've been known for not doing the right thing. Okay. Put it in. Yeah, put it in. Can you put it in the hole? Yeah. Can you get a nut in it, on it? Uh, that's... All right, just a second. Let's put, no, just a minute. I want a flat washer and then a lock washer. So the flat washer's on the... Let's get this one on too, right? You're right there. So, if, so you put the bolt down through on this one? Put the bolt down through on this one? Okay. Bolt down through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then it's a flat, and then a, then a lock, and then the nut. Okay. So flat, lock, then nut. Are you lowering it more? Or? Do you want to lower it more? I want to lower it down just a little bit. It might be easier. But I don't want to hit. Okay, there we go. Okay. So. Flat. I can hold that one on. Okay. You got them all on? I got the flat, the lock, and now the nut. She's not only a good looking boy, she's a mechanic. <laughs> yeah, right. So flat, yeah. lock, and nut. Yeah, I did. Awesome. Don't tighten it up. Okay. Just do the other side, please. Right on, flat, lock, and nut. And 
and then we'll drop this side and we'll make this side work. And we'll do what we gotta do to make it work. How's that? Mm -hmm. Awesome, that, that right there to me is The other side. Yeah. I'm thinking if we push that down. Come on. We've got a lock washer on top of this thing here. through mm -hmm. okay good needs to drop a little okay There's, remember the, it's a hard place to get because the hole of the exhaust pipe going through the motor mount for the steering yeah, no. makes it hard. But it's right, you can get it. You can? You can. To get me. the front, can you get the front one? Wow. I'll get down there if you want to, want me to get it. She's going for it, boys. She's going for it. Like it might have to come out and then put the nut on as it goes down in, but it can be done because I've, it's been in. Okay. Woo woo! That's awesome. It's awesome. Come on. Happy, happy, happy. Also, when when like we're putting the motor in right now, uh, there is obviously a bunch of stuff that still has to be done, but we want to get the engine running before we put the car down on top or do anything like that. We have to have it running. And the reason we have to have it running is because there's not enough room to work on anything. When the carburetors are on, the, 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 uh, the bonnet is right that, that far from the carburetors when it runs by. There's no taking the carburetors off and adjusting anything. There's none of that. You have to pull the body back off and work on it. That's why it's the $40 million car because you have to um, do crazy stuff to work on it. This one have to come up. Yeah. So just pull the bolt out. Oh, okay, okay. I still don't know how I'm going to get the nut on it. Okay, well, you stick the nut there. Can you know where it goes? Yeah, I got the... Okay, just take a look at it. Maybe just the nut can go on that one. Who knows? Like, you got the washer and the... Yeah, I got both washers. This one's got a washer on it? Both. Okay, so turn that. You want me to turn that? You got a, both of the washers on? Oh, I just dropped it. That happens all the time. Dang it. Okay. You want me to go for it or? If you can. Well, I imagine. <laughs> My glasses. I can get my head underneath there or not? Nope.
towering. I think we get it. Wow. I think so. Now it's half inch. Now, get half inch on the ratchet. I'm liking where it's setting right at the present moment. Um, as, if you take a look, both mounts are right down to the bottom of the mount on the chassis. Okay, just looking at something. And it's taking my mess up. That wouldn't work now, would it? I need a three-quarter inch wrench. Just gonna tighten that up before I let anything go, obviously. This is the time where it takes to be careful and not scratch anything. I'm so happy about the transmission. Mm. Yeah. So we were taking an 84 and dressing it like a 67 because that's what we had in it. That's what we acquired. And that's what we did. And that's what we were doing. This side. And the reason I'm doing it is because they're both seem to be tight down. So let's go, just go for it that way. Like they seem to have the same distance from the bolt to the hole and the hole. Like they're both looking the same. So I'm going to tie it down. So, like I said at the first of the, of when we first started here, there's going to be lots of mistakes made. Bear with me. And the reason being is because I haven't built this car yet. <laughs> it's the first time. I'm building it as I'm painting it. Generally, you would build the car, tear it apart, and put it back together. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm building the car, painting it, and putting it together at the same time. Going to, I'm going to tighten those up. That's hard to get at now. Well, I'm going to come from the underneath on those, and we're going to put a wrench on the top. So I'm going to have a half inch come from the underneath, and put a wrench on the top. What do you think, Johnny? You think you can hold the? Why oh, no, you can. You're badass. So the valve pan covers, they're not, um, they're not where we want them to be, the valve, the valve pan covers. Uh, they're not where that we want them to be. And what I'm saying by that, they're not the color we want them to be. They're not much of anything that we want them to be. But we want to leave them on there until we get the engine started, get the, you know, the end of the oil flowing and all that stuff. We're going to end up taking off all the acorn nuts. We got brand new of those. We're really going to detail up there nice on the top. Um, I'm going to, if you want to come over this side, speaker. I can get underneath that and sort of want to tighten them up. No, I do want to tighten them up. Because the engine's not coming back out, hopefully. The engine's not coming back out, hopefully. Looks good. Alright, if you want to put, um, Your wrench on that one there and hold the camera at the same time. Ah, jeez. Mm. I, I don't know if you want to put the box in there or not. But. Nope, not even on the nut. Yep. You don't have to tighten anything, baby. Just okay. 
D'accord I dropped a bolt on the chassis and it chipped the paint. Just a little tiny chip. Joey has come up with some fingernail polish and uh, you cannot tell where that chip is at. <laughs> so if anything happens like that, um, that's where we get into um, disguising it with. Now, this side over here is going to take some manipulation. Tighten this from the top side, maybe. Good, it is tight. Tighten this from the top side. It's working out nice. That nut is up against the, the motor mount underneath. Stick with us and we'll put some stuff on it to give you a little bit of eye candy. Visual. Another half inch wrench right here somewhere. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. Just didn't put it away, did I? Here it is right there. Just go underneath there and hold that. Strong drug. <laughs> huh? Isn't it, baby? Yeah. It is. Build your car. She deserves it. That's for sure. She deserves it. Ooh. See that? <laughs> it's all over. I scratch it right here on camera. It's all over. I get, I get a beating, wouldn't I? Yeah. Oh, she's going to give me a beating, boys. I think I'd probably like it. <laughs> I think I'd probably like it. Put the wrench on down here first. Nope, I think I'm just going to leave that for a minute. Alrighty. Let's see if I can get that on there. There we go. There we go. Opened end up stuff can slip pretty quick. Alrighty. Now, what I'm saying is the engine is in there. We are not hitting on anything. Just looking it over. Just looking it over. Because I remember when we did the, the firewall, the firewall is about a half inch half inch away from uh, these oil galleries and I know these are oil galleries because you'll have to go back and watch. Um, I am going to put the water pump on now. I'm going to put the water pump on. I am, I am, I am. I right, just clean that off. I had it clean before but just making sure it's clean. I got the water pump over here. What I've used is I've used cast iron paint and black paint so bear with me all the bolts I painted I just put them in a Tim Hortons cup there or holder and um, and have went from there 
So just put them in there and then you paint the heads of them and everything was great. So I'm gonna put, nope. Uh, I thought, I, for, I forgot my first opponent is the gasket. <laughs> uh, I had the gasket in here being flattened out. It was crinkled up when I got it. So I'm gonna get it and put it on. It might leak without a gasket. Got it. Let's put it on. Okay, what I'm going to do is I put one of these bolts through. Now, you must realize. You don't have to realize, I am not a mechanic, but I'm not scared to do what I need to do to get it done. That makes sense. Put all the bolts in place. I had to change some of the the bolts that hold this on and the reason being is um, it had some bolts were to hold on brackets for the power steering pump and some bolts were to, had shims on them to hold uh, the alternator These four up in here, the smaller ones. Aiden did a good job tearing it apart because he labeled the bag, the head in, the bolts for this. See, I don't know if that's too long or. There was a bracket there, because I'm one's looking. Do you know what I'm trying to tell you? Mm -hmm. They seem a bit long, don't they? Might have been a bracket there. Is this a shorter one or a longer one? Let's take this one out. Let's take a look. There's no brackets there anymore, so. Ah. Come on out. Same length. Two longer ones We're on this side. Gotta take that out and check that over. Put the shorter one down here because at least I can get the water pump on. anything else you'd want to start from the center to tighten that up and then work your way to the outside I'm thinking I've got two on the outside I'm not sure I like the shorter ones the longer ones I do not know um, I do not know but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a nut for the bottom and one down here had it put that one on and another thing too I do not have uh, anything um, any of the, the bolts or the nuts that fit this engine, I had to go get some. We have a local store in Berwick called Skirman's, and they have most any nut or bolt that you want. And I had to go out there and uh, 
Tell them I need a bunch of stuff. Yeah. All of them are half inch. Well, I'm just going to tighten it with the air at first, and I can always torque it down with something after. I'm just going to put that on there. It looks nice and detailed that way, I think. I'm just going to run that over top of that. Let's go easy. that for now probably torque it down with a, with a ratchet probably so I'm gonna put that on for now and I'm gonna to try to find a different couple uh, shorter ones to go in there I don't know if I need the longer ones they're there if they'll work they're there I've got them um, let's put on the alternator uh, the alternator is a Chev alternator there's the original alternator there um, you can see the bracket how wide it is See how wide that is there? And this is the bracket for it. That's the bracket for it. And it went where the motor mount is, where the red motor mount. That's where the bracket went. The alternator was down there. What I have done is I've moved the, the alternator up higher and I had to modify the bracket. So I made a bracket. I made that, it's just angle iron, I made that. And then I took and cut this and lengthened it. And you'll see why. So I'm going to put this on. Need a washer or two for a second. I want to get a flat washer. Yeah, don't think I need a flat washer. I got two lock washers. So this is one. Goes on here. And I and what happened is is we looked for um, we looked for the brackets and you could buy them but we do not, you know, as I'm sitting here, or as we're here, we do not know if they fit or not. You know, I me and Joey can look through all the brackets we want to. We don't know if they fit. And um, we can look at them on the computer and, and say, yeah, that looks, that looks like it could be it. But how do we know until we get it? And how long are we going to wait for a bracket? Uh, so I just come out here and, um, and went for it. Made a couple brackets. And that's basically what we do anyways. Um, it's basically what we do anyways. I got a flat lock washer digging in there a bit. I'm not gonna tighten it up too tight. Reason being is, I might have to take it off. I've got it slotted so it goes either way a little bit. Um, so we've put a shed alternator. I'm not saying um, this has probably been done probably probably a lot of people have done this, is put a Chev alternator on a Jaguar. But the reason uh, I went with it is because when it comes time to wire it up, just check and see if this stuff fits. And we can see how the mountain brackets, see how narrow that one is. When it comes time to uh, wire the car up, 
uh, I, I'm feeling like one wire <laughs> is the way to go. That's what I'm feeling. And you know how I feel? With my hands. All right, so. Why we're having a problem there now? But I am. All right, let's take it out. That's the issue. Oh, where's that piece at? There was a shim in there. Where'd that go? There was a little metal shim in there. Was in. Hmm. What happened there now? There was a little metal shim. Oh, right there. Where? It just fell. No. No. It's rubber. There was a metal shim that went inside that alternator. Where did that go? That's weird. Oh, it's on the bolt. Did you see a metal shim on that? No. <laughs> well, there is. Oh, okay. Huh? I was thinking, wow, that's weird. I should have a washer on it. Just gonna put a nut on it for now. Just turn that on so so. Let that hang down. Now that had to be, there's an inner fender that comes along through here, and that has to be in there quite close. So this is the bracket. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the bolt that went into the water pump was a little bit longer because it had one of these brackets on it that held the water because the alternator was down here where this motor mount was and it probably had a bracket, did have a bracket from up there that held out the alternator. I modified it so now we come down from the oil pump in the front. And we come up to the alternator. So it was not that long. So it's totally hooked up, totally different than it was. Um, I think the bracket was on. So now we have the alternator here. Um, I could have put, man, should I throw the belt on? Doesn't matter if I throw the belt on or not. So now you can see this is going to be the adjustment. There's an adjustment down there uh, for the alternator to tighten up the belt. I'm going to throw the belt on for shits and giggles, just to make it look, just to show what I had to go through to make it. Uh, so that alternator is pretty darn close when it comes, this is a, this is a body mount, comes up here, there's a thing comes ironed up through here, and got a tad on, there's got another body mount right there. So um, just to show you what I'm going through, not that anybody cares, but it does. Um, everything matters on this car. I can't have the alternator up too far. I can't have the power steering pump up too far. I can't have a lot of things. It has to be where it needs to be. So we're on the alternator. Just mocking it up so you know it needs maybe come back off or not so we had to readjust where the alternator went i'm liking it there better and uh, we're not out too far i have a couple inner fenders that are she only wants to turn around there's a couple inner fenders right there that i made for the car and i have not even tried them on yet before i put the it down on I have not tried it yet but um we will 
Going for the power steering pump. Where's the power steering pump? Right back there. Had to make the bracket for the power steering pump. Okay, so the power steering pump um, was in a total different place. Power steering pump was down, had a bracket where the motor mount is, uh, right down here, and it did not have the motor mount on it. So uh, the motor mount was back here, so I had to change the motor mount and then make well tabs on it to make a mount for the power steering pump. So there's another um, hurdle that I've had to jump. And I've welded that up without yeah, see. I'm gonna take that off. And well, there's two tabs up, and it could have come in on me a little bit if you know what I'm trying to tell you. And it did. So what happens is, is I've welded the two tabs up on the power on the on here. I give them quite a zonk with the welder. And what I'm thinking is they moved a little bit, so I'm going to hit it with a hammer. I've got a rubber hammer here, maybe. I should have maybe tried that before I put that in there. I did not. Lovey-dovey. Just a little touch like that. Alrighty. You can see how the bracket holds on this power steering pump. Alright. <laughs> oh, I didn't grab the bolt. Are you able to grab yep. me the bolt on the back of that? Alrighty. So now there has to be, you can see where that runs down through there, how close that's going to be to that inner fender. So what has happened here is I've got this adjustment here. If I'm out too far on my power steering pump, I'll just adjust it and bring it in a little bit. When I made my bracket, I had to make sure I was away from the distributors, my distributors right here, so I had to make them away from the distributor bit. So when I adjust this in, I can bring it in quarter of an inch, half an inch maybe. Um, I have the belt. I bring the belt in today, right there. If the belt is too long when I bring it in some, because it looks like I probably will have to bring it in, or it'll, it'll slide right down there by there. Yes, it probably will. Um, it'll, it'll come down and through there. But I'll probably get a smaller belt and bring that in a little bit, just so I have a little bit tiny more, a little bit more room. So basically what I had to do was make sure that I got these belts straight and running right. Um, the tabs were um, welded on in the right place to get it right, so I had to hold it. Basically what you do with something like that hold it where you need it, get it where you need it, and then make the bracket go to it. All right, let's do, I'll throw the headers on just for shits and giggles. And we won't probably bolt them on tight or anything, but I'll show you where they're going. This is number one, I think. Uh, the manifolds on the other engine that we had uh, were 
were cracked or the porcelain was chipped off and it did not look good. It had a tab broke out of the one of them and uh, it was not, not what we are going for. Um, I can tell right now, I just heard it. We are touching right here on that manifold. Have not got a gasket in there yet. Gonna have to put a manifold gasket in there, I am. But what I'm saying is, is I'll probably end up having to take a die grinder and uh, mark that where the manifold is hitting. And take a little bit of metal off that block. There's a big layer of cast steel there. It would not hurt it any. So what I'm gonna have to do is mark it and I'll take a die grinder and die grind that out a little bit so that header does not hit that the engine because it would rattle full time no doubt in my mind let's get another header so hopefully i can keep this interesting enough to have everybody come back i'm hoping um, it's going to take what an engine and a little, little chassis eh? mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take some some mistakes so if you don't mind, mind watching a few mistakes here and there and uh, reality, um, it's going to be good, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep the interest. So we need manful gases on that, but I just want to put that on there just to show where we're going. I'm going to have to go over, I put, there's, there's a mistake I did. Um, that's not a mistake. I end up putting the bolts back through this way on the on the shocks. Um, from what I understand, all airplanes are built with the bolts going back when it's going forward. So I went with that. I took that idea. I put lock washers on most everything because I, you know, I thought to myself, when I take most cars apart, they generally have lock washers on them. So that's what I'm going to do. Take from them what they have done. So I've lock washed a lot of stuff, and I had to go get those because I wanted the anodoxed look not washer just because it makes it look a little bit nicer or a little bit better so basically there's what's going on i have to um we want to get it running before i take the the manifold or the valve pan covers off and i'm going to have to i want to make something on the top of those so it looks like they're machined so they're going to have to be stripped down and something dealt with to make them look like they're machined all the head bolts are going to be coming off and the head's going to get retorqued down. Uh, we have new, all new acorn nuts for the heads and all the washers. If you can remember the last motor we bought didn't even have the washers on the head and uh, that's an instant no-no, an instant fail. Um, we are going to make sure that the fan is nutted on. If you do not know, any bolts on a fan or a wheel do not tighten themselves, they loosen themselves. So something like that we want to be very careful of. But there's the basic start of Jolene's car. We have not got the air ride in the front yet, um, but we're going for it. Um, I just have to remind myself, make sure I torque down the, the water pump and just go over everything as I'm going. Um, just go over everything to make sure everything's tight and right. And that just means going back over it tightening it, back over it, and looking at it, tightening it. Everything's going pretty good. I drilled the hole in the motor mount before we did the video. Um, over this side, I have the steering coming down through here. Uh, okay, grab that. How long are we? An hour. Okay, so I'll just go, I'll leave that for now. All right, that's where we're at. Um, we've got the engine in it. The air ride is not hooked up. It's just sitting up on the blocks in the front, obviously. The engine works. <laughs> the engine works. Um, I have to tear the carburetors apart. Um, the, it's got an extra manifold on it there for some reason, and we can't have the extra manifold because it, it'll hit the side of the car. I'm thinking. I'm thinking it will. Um, I'm thinking it does. Well, you, uh, you come back tomorrow and uh, see what we're doing. I'm not sure where I'm going yet with it. But we're going to be doing something. I have to change some studs here for the for the vent on the top of the head. I have to change that. Uh, I, have, I haven't figured out where where the battery is going in this car yet. I haven't figured out that yet. 
Um, I probably should have figured that out before we went too far, but I have not figured that out yet. But there's the engine in the chassis. I want to thank everybody in the 200,000 subscribers. It's a little, a little above that right now, 2001 or two. Um, I want to thank everybody. And uh, I'm going to try to continue on Joey's car and uh, do the best I can to get it done. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully within the next few days, um, we can get this engine banging and crashing and, and making some noise because that's where it needs to go. We need to make some noise. We got Schrader valves coming. I have to run some brake lines. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. If you like what's going on, uh, we are building Jolene's uh, $40 million Bugatti because I love her. And that's the only reason I'm building it. Um, it wasn't my choice to build this car. It was her choice. I asked her what kind of car she wanted. This is what she picked. This is what I'm building her. Uh, the building is done. We need to get that car in the building. And also, I cannot do anything in there with the car here in here now. So like, subscribe, have fun, have a great day. Comment, share, come back tomorrow.